Clom is a few other prefixes that are used to express ideas of time. These prefixes can be added to verbs, nouns, or adjectives to add the ideas of now, already, still, first, and just recently. Um, they're very common prefixes and, and they're important because they can change the meaning of a word or a sentence. In this section, we're going to go over four other time prefixes found in the column language. The first one being Pushan for now, Tua for still, Cha for just now, and first or for a while. If we look at our models, um, I don't have the audio to this, so I'm just going to read it to you. Huang Zen. Quishlin Swipe Cha Hong Sen Cha Asian Sen Cha Asian Sen Cha Swipe Cut Sen Cha Swipe Cut Sen Asian Sen Asian Sen And then our last one is Tukquit Sen Tukquit Sen so the first set of models with the with the K raised W N R L prefix, the the basic meaning of this prefix is already, and you can put this on apparently any word to add the meaning already to whatever the stem means. The already prefix most commonly appears on adjectives and verbs, and it can occur on any noun that makes sense. For example. Skeetlin means it's already food. The second set of models shown in the prefix right here. Shun. This prefix means basically, oh, this prefix means now then or at this time then. It implies something just about happened or to happen next, just after something else. For example, the model sentence, um, Right here, Kushan Ishlensen could be translated to then or next I ate. Often English for turn, as in take a turn to participate, shows up in translations for Kushan. This happens especially if the prefix is a noun or one of the focus pronouns, um, like this. Kushan Tim. Kushan Tim. Now it's Tim's turn, or Kushan Utz, now it's my turn. The third set of models shows the prefix twelve. The basic meaning of this prefix is still. You can apparently put this on any word to add meaning still to whatever the stem means. The word still in English has several meanings. In column twelve, it means still in, spe in the specific sense that wherever the stem means, is happening now and has continued for some previous time. For example, twelve Asians in I eat now, continuing from some previous time. Twelve prefix is usually used with actual, as in twelve Asians in I'm still eating. And there's quite a bit of variations to this. The first four sets of models illustrate chop prefix. The general meaning for this prefix is hard to pin down, but if you translate it to English, just, you won't be wrong. The prefix cha has a rather distinct meaning when it is attached to a noun versus when it's attached to another type of word. 
when cha is prefixed to a verb or an adjective, it adds the meaning just now or just recently or just finally. So cha hiatsin can mean I just now went or I just recently went or I just finally went. Cha usually adds the meaning of the action occurring into the immediate or um, recent past. It is possible for it to occur with the future tense maker. When it does occur in the future, it's always translated as finally. For example, cha hiatsan. I finally, oh, I'm finally going to go. When cha is prefixed to a noun, it can add the idea of just or nearly, as in cha skaha, it's just a dog, or it can add the idea of just meaning all completely, as in cha tlamu a tia squachi. It's just all rain today. So cha hiat san, I'm finally going to go, or cha slamu a tia squachi. And here's a list of new words. Swaika, Swaika, Slani, Slani, Quine, Quine, Nestson, Nestson. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a hooked end. It should be a Nestson. It's a hooked end. Sorry. Um, chat swaika, chat swaika, chat slani, chat slani, chat quine, chat quine, and chat last sun, chat last sun. On nouns, cha can add the idea of something being an admirable model, complete and perfect. For example, cha set, he's all father, meaning he is an admirable good father and seems to love his children very much. Or cha snap means it's all canoe, it's a perfect canoe. You should be careful to avoid confusing cha with a similar looking prefix cha go from, ch, be from, and ch, have. The t, x, and raise w prefix that means to do something for a while first before doing something else. These time prefixes are all mutually exclusive. This is, you can't get any combination of the sun, twao, cha, or t in a single word. Although that K raised W and barred L, the quish, although quish and twelve cannot occur together in the same word, they do work together in special constructions. Another table there, that K needs to be lowercase. But I'll read it out loud. Asian oot. Asian oot. Twelve Asian Twelve Asian sin. Oh my goodness. And that's it for time prefixes. Bye.